Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. Today we're talking with Dr. Jen Arnold, neonatologist, pediatrician, star of TLC's The Little Couple, and mother of two. She's talking with us today about the benefits of vaccinations and why the CDC's recommended timeline for vaccinations is so important. Hi, Dr. Arnold. Nice to talk with you. Same here. Thank you for having me. With so much misinformation out there, what are the basics parents need to know? Fantastic question. Well, you know, from my perspective as a pediatrician, uh, a neonatologist who cares for critically ill babies and infants, um, and as a mom of, of two uh, slightly biased, adorable, in my opinion, adorable children, um, it's very important for a parent to have all the facts about how to vaccinate and when to vaccinate. Um, there are you know, CDC guidelines that I'm not sure if all parents are aware of, but those guidelines are developed to allow a child to receive vaccinations at the right dose and the right timeline uh, to best help uh, protect them from these preventable diseases. What questions should a parent ask their child's pediatrician about vaccines? Because there's so much information for and against them. Of course, um, you know, a parent uh, should first and foremost have an open dialogue with their pediatrician um, because all parents, like myself, just want what's best for their child and their child's health. And so asking all the questions that you have is critical. Um, you know, some of the most common ones that parents should ask are, you know, what are the vaccines that I need and how often, what is the timeline? Um, you know, parents should not only talk to their pediatrician about that, but, you know, look at credible resources as well to understand that timeline. So what do you say to parents who want to alter the vaccination timeline? So my job as a pediatrician is to inform them that in order to best protect their child from these infections, it is important to maintain the timeline and to not spread out those vaccines. And that's because in order for these vaccines to do the best job that they can um, and actually protect a child's uh, you know, immune system from these infections, um, they need to be given on time. The reason is, is that we know that different vaccines require different doses and at different intervals to not only protect a child when they're most vulnerable and at risk for these infections, but also to help the immune system develop the appropriate antibodies. Antibodies are essentially our own immune system's key factors that help fight infection. And so we know that certain doses and at certain times for different vaccines are required for a developing uh, immature immune system, as in an infant, uh, to create the right amount of antibodies. In some communities, families have opted out of vaccines for their kids. From a medical standpoint, is this harming the overall health of our country? Well, the one thing that we know is that the more children are vaccinated against these preventable diseases, the lower the risk of these diseases uh, are from, you know, happening in communities. And so my, my goal is to urge all families to learn the information that they need to know, talk to their pediatricians, and to get their child vaccinated. Since you're both a doctor and a mom, why is this issue so important to you? Well, this issue is so important to me because as a mom, I have two children that I, like any other parent, want uh, the best health for them. I want them to be as protected as possible. Uh, both my kids came from other countries and they were behind in following the CDC guidelines in their immunization schedule. So it was critical for me as one of the first things I did for their health is to talk with my pediatrician and get them back on schedule. Um, as a neonatologist and a pediatrician, I unfortunately see the consequences of these illnesses when uh, children do get them. Um, these uh, preventable infections can be very serious, even life-threatening in very young babies. So where can parents learn more information about vaccines and the vaccination schedule? It's um, www.babyvaxfacts.com. <laughs>